Now I'm going to show you how to make the arrow pattern. The first five knots are going to be just like the stripe pattern. You pick up your number one string and your number two. You make the right handed knot, which looks exactly like a four, while pulling it through the center and pull it tight towards the butterfly. Move your number two string to number one. Pick up your next string and the number three. Do your double right handed knot and we're going to work all our way to the middle. Now once we pick up our number five string and do the double right handed knot, we're going to place that in the number four slot. And you're going to leave your number, your red one, which was your number one, in the middle. Now I'm going to teach you how to do the left handed knot. Your number 10 will be your color going across. So you're going to make a backwards or reverse four and pull it through the center. Make the same knot, making sure your four can be, it should look flipped over or turned around and move your number nine string to the 10 slot. So your four should be pointing towards the out or to your right always when making the left handed knot. Pick up your next string in the number seven slot. Make sure your four is backwards and your last one working your way to the middle. So after you do your double left-handed knot in the number six string, move it over to the seven slot and you have both your five and six should be in matching colors. And then all you do is two simple knots just like when you tie your shoes. And you place the red strings back to the five and six slots and we're gonna work our way from the outside again. So we're going to do a right handed knot with the number one string and the number two string. So this arrow going across is going to be white because your number one string is white. So move your two to the one, pick up your next string, and we're just going to work our way to the middle again. Pick up your number four, two right handed knots. And now we've made our way to the middle again, which is our number five slot. Never pass the number five. Just stick the string that you're working with and wait to, till you make it there again. Now we're gonna go back to the left-handed knot. Make your backwards four, another backwards four and pull it through. Move your nine to the 10, pick up the next string and you're going to continue to do the left-handed knot. Working our way over with the number seven, which we're going to move to the number eight slot when we're done with our double left-handed knot. And once you hit the six, you'll make your double left-handed knot, move it to the seven, and you, again, we've got the two white strings in the middle. So just do two normal knots, pull it tight towards the butterfly clip, and then we're gonna move back to the outside again. As you continue to make your right and left handed knots, you'll see your pattern grow and your bracelet get longer and longer. And you'll see the arrows form right before your eyes. Now as you're ending your arrow pattern, this is where the butterfly comes in really handy. As you can see, my white string's gotten a little too short to fit in. So I'm just gonna slide the butterfly down. You can re-pull all your strings, pull them from the bottom so they'll stay in their slots. And then just grab the white string and then you'll be able to fit it right in there. And I wanna finish with the braid again to tie off the bracelet. So I'm gonna take the left three strings in my left hand, the right three strings in my right, and the four in the middle is gonna be the middle part of the braid. So do a nice tight braid. This will help you a lot when tying the knots. Once you finish your braid, just do a loop, 
pull it through just like we did on the other bracelet. Another loop, pull it through the center. Make sure all your strings come through and pull it nice and tight. Then you can unclip your bracelet, tie off your loose ends, and that knot should fit perfectly into the loop you made in the beginning. Now you're ready to share them with your best friends, your mom, or anyone.